Welcome back to another video. This will be an update for Common Sense Machine for February 2024. As we can see, we can generate 3D models quite easily. So I will jump directly within the editor peak and let's check some of the most interesting models generated by this platform. So we have this polygonal flamingo. If we take a look at the original uh, input and the output mesh, we're going to see that the output mesh is quite good. We see over here the input image. The model will load. And if we take a look, we're going to see that those triangles have been uh, well defined over here. Maybe over here within the input, we had another triangle with a different mesh. But other than that, the quality of the of the output is quite good. Keep in mind that within the newer version, you can also have the mesh as an OBJ, a GLB, a USDZ and an FBX. So let's check some of the other models. As we can see for, let's say for characters or uh, stuff like this, so uh, we see a wide variety of animals. The quality of the 3D model is quite decent. The same will be for uh, for persons over here. So we have the reference. We see that this is, um, let's say, <clears throat> like, um, like a general. And we see the input photo over here. So even though over here the AI tool used the hallucination in order to generate a wide variety of different elements we see all those badges position over here while within the original reference there were just some um, let's say floral elements added over here so that's something that the ai tool added but other than that the quality the overall quality of the model is decent and we can clearly distinguish that this um, this is a person if you're going to check some other models, so as I said uh, before, for animals, we see that the quality is quite good. We have over here a single photo of a rabbit. So we see this a perspective view and we see the output mesh. Now for the bunny ears, they are quite um, off. So we see that inner part and over here we have something um, added. But considering the fact that this was generated using a single image, I think that this is quite um, quite good. We also see that this has um, an additional extended leg over here. Let's check some other models. Again, the polygonal elements will be quite well defined. So we have over here this mesh, which again is quite decent. Something like this, like a battle axe, again, will be, will be usable in some cases. For characters, this is mostly okay. And we see over here a jacket. Let me just open the, the jacket model over here. We see the logo over here, so the north face. But now within the final model, that logo is quite um, stretched but overall the shape of the jacket is is decent even though not at the same proportions as the reference but as an asset that was just generated using a model i think that the model is pretty decent with cards we still see that the AI tool struggles mainly it will make the cars a lot wider than they should be so we see over here the width of the truck and we see over here that for this case study this isn't that um, obvious so the overall width of the car is not that disproportional even though if you take a look over here and um, at the output model we're gonna see that the door was positioned over there and we have the door over here and afterwards you're just gonna have 
a certain distance for the for the interior part but over here this was clearly a lot larger but for a car that was decent let's take a look at some other meshes i'm gonna go on next and i will check another car if we're gonna see one again we're gonna have a wide variety of characters animals over here we have a, a bike. This I presented within my previous video, so this was quite interesting and well detailed. But as we can see within the Aetor peak there are few cars, because usually the platform struggles with cars, so they can do characters pretty decent. As we can see over here, so we have this tiger character, we have a rhino character over here. That doesn't really look um, that much similar to the reference. A wide variety of characters, but again, no cars over here. So let me just jump to the explore and let's take a look at some of the cars that were recently created. So there are none on the first page. Let's see when we're gonna find some cars. So we have this muscle character like. And we have a van over here. And the proportion of this van a little bit better than they used to be within previous versions. But let me just go and search for another car model to see if those problems regarding the width of the of the 3d models are still over there as you can see these within the explorer not that curated so some of them will not be so well defined as the one from the Ator peak we see again polygonal meshes A wide variety of characters and statues because for those the AI tool does a great job so we see that for example this uh, dragon head is also quite decent and usable in some cases so we have two characters over here so two knights We see that this bridge model is completely off so for large infrastructure elements it will struggle but for smaller houses like this one we see that this can be decent and in some cases even usable as a prop within a vr environment somewhere in the back that can easily be fitted over there you see over here a lot of dinosaurs Griffon. So let me just see if I can find another car. But as you can see, usually people don't generate a lot of cars. So we see the spot over here. So let's check this. The Boston Dynamic um, spot. So it's not that bad. The only, let's say, drawback is that the four legs are not, not the same, same size. But overall, that model was pretty, pretty decent. So if I'm going to check my own inputs over here, we're going to see that <clears throat> I try to create a lot of uh, cars. So we have the Dacia Bigster over here, but the same problem that I previously discussed the cars will be a lot wider than intended so we see the reference photo over here and we see the output from this perspective the mesh looks to be decent but um, in this case the proportions are not that bad the car is still a little bit wider than in reality but in this case it went actually and created something good 
but if you're gonna check the other we're gonna see how wider the car will be over here so we see the width of the car of the back over here but if you're gonna check on the model we're gonna see that this will be a lot wider than um, than it should be okay so this was the update regarding common sense AI machine i encourage you to give it a try now that you also have the possibility to use a wide variety of uh, output meshes so they also added the fbx within the newer version and also they release a new model version 1.3 so i hope that you enjoy this content i will position a similar video on the left side of the screen i will add the 3d generated ai playlist at the top and i will put a subscribe button to the right so that's it thanks for watching